Okay. All right. So let's begin. Let's start with sitting up straight. Hands on your knees, back straight. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. And start to inhale and exhale. Long inhalations, long exhalations. Gently bring your hands together. Start rubbing them together. And place them on your closed eyelids. Rub your hands across your face. And with a few blinks, open your eyes. Let's start with neck rotations. You're going to inhale as your head goes back and exhale as it comes forward. Let's go in the other direction. Inhale as the head goes back and exhale as it comes forward. Now inhale, look up, exhale, look down. Inhale, look up, and exhale, look down. Once again, inhale, look up, exhale, look down. Come to the center and let's look from side to side. And once again, come to the center and ear to shoulder. Stop the practice. Now place your hands on the floor in front of you. Walk your hands forward and place the forehead, nose, or chin on the floor. Slowly walk your hands back and now place your hands flat on the floor next to you and extend the other hand out and look up. And then come back and then the same thing on the other side. And come back. Good. Now come on all fours, hands and knees on the floor. And let's start with the tiger breathing. So you're going to inhale, push your belly button to the floor, look up. Exhale, push your chin into your chest, curve your back, pull the tailbone in. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push your chin into your chest, curve your back, pull the tailbone in. One more time, inhale, look up. And exhale, push your chin into your chest, curve the back, pull the tailbone in. Come back to your base position, start your wrist stretches. Turn the hands around until they face you and then bring them back. So just several times. Yeah. Now stop with both hands facing you. Start to rock back and forth. and side to side. Good, stop the practice. Bring your hands back to the original positions. Place your toes on the floor and lift your knees up off of the floor. Push your tailbone up. So you're gonna rotate the thighs in. Focus on lengthening the tailbone. Press the hands into the floor. Try to get the body weight more on your legs than on your arms. And then you're slowly going to straighten one leg, then the other leg, gently walking in place. And then straighten both legs. Again, push the tailbone up. And now step forward, Uttanasana. Again, press your fingertips down, back straight. And again, let's step back, downward dog. And 
And then let's step forward, Uttanasana. And now one last time, let's step back into Downward Dog. And step forward, Uttanasana. Now slowly, vertebra by vertebra, roll yourself up to a standing position. Okay. We're going to do 108 Surya Namaskars. All the students who've been coming for a long time, you guys are going to do all of the 108. The others, like Mrs. Rishi, you don't focus on doing all of them. You do only as many as you can. So don't, don't push yourself. Okay, just maybe even four or five to a set is fine. Okay. Uh, everybody else who's new, you guys also don't, don't uh, like try to keep a persistent pace. Okay, a consistent pace. So don't uh, like do a lot in the first set and then nothing in the second set. Do maybe like five in every set and just try to keep the heart rate up throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole time. Um, so the kickboxing guy is going to log in. Raghu is going to log in at 7.40. So we have uh, like 35 minutes to do 108 Surya Namaskars and that should be possible. All right. So let's come to the front of the mat. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, right left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. All right, that was one set. Now we'll continue. Come back to the base position, hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's start. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, Left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, 
right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Okay, second set is over. Now we'll do two more before we take a, a child, a child's pose break. So once again, hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Okay. Three sets over, another one, and then we'll take a small break. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra, and let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Ninth one. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, 
exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bujangasana, Padmatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Good. Okay, go into your child's pose. Have a sip of water and then go into the child's pose. Okay, <clears throat> now come into the downward dog and step forward into Uttanasana and then come back to the front of your mat and let's begin again. So this is the fifth set and we have a total of 12 sets. All right, so come to the front of your mat, hands in the Namaskar Mudra and let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, come down, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Ujjangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Ujjangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Ujjangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Okay, now the sixth step. Come to your base position and let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Last one. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, 
Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up, and back. Okay, we have two more to go for this set, okay? So that's 18 more Surya Namaskars before we take a break. So let's do 18 all at one go now. Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good. Okay, cool. Come to the front of your mat. Feet together, hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. That was nine, let's continue. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest. Chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Last one. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale all the way up and back. Have a sip of water. And go into your child's pose.
into your downward dog and then step forward into Uttanasana. Okay, we have four more sets to go to finish 108. What we just did was a combination of two sets. So that's how we're gonna do the, the last four sets. We're gonna do two at the same time, take a break and then take another two. Yeah, thumbs up. All right, okay. All right, come to the front of your mat. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Mujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up, and back. Good. Walk around a little bit, have a sip of water.
Now we have only 18 more left. If you are feeling exhausted, uh, then you can just, uh, you know, rest it out. But uh, if you can still go on, let's finish the 18 just like we did the last set. Okay, have a sip of water. Ragya, can we do nine and nine instead of continuous 18? <laughs> Another five minutes. Okay. So after nine, okay, I'll tell you when it's nine or over, then you take a break for two Surya Namaskars. Then you join us back. Okay. I like, don't want to miss on 108. <laughs> then you do your two, like once we're done. Okay. So take a little break. Like if you feel that your heartbeat is too high or <laughs> generating, then you take a small break after the ninth and then join us back after two or four like that. And then you make it up when, once you're done. <laughs> okay. We have five more minutes. All right, guys, come to the front of your mat. Hands in the Namaskar Mudra. And let's begin. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Right leg back, left leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Inhale, all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward. Left leg back, right leg back. Knees, chest, chin down. Mujangasana, Parvatasana. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Inhale, all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. That was nine. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down. Bhujangasana, Parvatasana. Right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down. 
Bujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, <laughs> inhale all the way up, and back. This is the 17th one. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, right leg back, left leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bujangasana, Parvatasana, right leg forward, left leg forward, inhale all the way up, and back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, bend forward, left leg back, right leg back, knees, chest, chin down, Bujangasana, Parvatasana, left leg forward, right leg forward, inhale all the way up, and back. All right. So that was 108 Surya Namaskars. I hope my counting in the last one was accurate. All right, have a sip of water. Now let me just see that Raghu is here. Okay, how many of you did 108? Give me a thumbs up if you did all 108. Okay, Raki did. Very good. Nidhi? Okay, all right. Nisha, you also did 108, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. So Raghu should be here shortly. Uh, meanwhile, let's do some stretching, okay? Uh, so that, like, you know, we have some time. Okay, everyone sit down, come into your uh, butterfly pose. Bada Konasana. So now, uh, this is also another good pose for sciatica. But if you have lower back pain and stuff in, uh, in general, then the way you have to do the butterfly pose is, you take the flesh of the thighs and you move them out. Like the glutes, you're pulling them out. So that... Um, you know, the flesh is like sort of comes away from the tailbone, from the spine basically, and those muscles relax. So it's not tight. So you have to make sure that there's enough space. Otherwise the tendency is to compress the, the muscles in whichever asana, in whichever seated asana you, you perform. So keep the back straight and place your hand on the floor and see if you can walk a little forward. If you're still catching your breath, inhale through the nose and you can gently exhale through the mouth. You might feel that the flexibility is a lot more right now than in the, in the beginning. Good. Okay. And then walk your hands back. And now extend both legs wide apart for Upavishta uh, Konasana. Then place your hands on the floor in this one and walk your hands forward. And those of you who can, go ahead and place your elbows uh, on the floor. If you can. Yeah, pull your toes in. Nisha, pull the toes in. Very nice. Okay, good. And then come up. Now bend your left leg in and the right leg stays out. Extend the left hand up and then see if you can, how far can you reach? Uh, can you touch toes? Do this gently. Keep pushing your left thigh down to the floor. So don't allow the left hip to come up. The sitting bones should be flat on the floor. Good, and then come up. And now the same thing on the other side. So take the right hand up and then extend to the left side. Yeah, finish the stretch. I think Raghu is here. Hi, Raghu. Hi, Pragya. Hello, everyone. Everyone's on mute right now. So they're okay. Okay, Hello. let me put you on spotlight. Okay. All right. So you want to introduce yourself and tell us what yeah. we're Yeah, absolutely. Hi. So my name is Raghura and uh, today's class is going to be a brief introduction to kickboxing. Um, I've been doing kickboxing for the past seven years and I've been teaching for the past five. Um, I teach at my own studio. So um, 
this will be a very basic introduction on how to throw two punches and a kick okay uh, because these two these three movements can cover some sort of basic idea of self defense in my opinion so um, i hope you enjoy it um, at the end of class or at the end of the short duration i will share some more information with you and a very good morning to all of you are we ready i'm sure most of you are on mute so yeah. i guess we're all ready okay now um getting started the kickboxing um i started doing this just because it's my one of my favorite martial art but i started continuing on doing this for the last 7 years just because of how it feels on my mind it's pretty much like how yoga does on your mind okay so the first thing with kickboxing or any sort of martial art is to learn how to stand and is to work on your stance okay and everything from there is a lot more structured the stance is the the most important aspect of most forms of martial arts okay so um if i can request all of you all to stand up and um now i hope everyone's i mean i can't hope for everyone to be right handed right but i am right handed uh, if you are left handed the stance will just be a little different just to switch up legs okay since i am right handed my lead leg is my left leg and my back leg is my right leg okay now when you look at your stance you should always try and form an l with your leg there's a difference between boxing stance and kickboxing stance in kickboxing or in muay thai you want to have your hips square to the front person or your opponent or a wall okay so it is it the reason why you want to have your hips square is because you can throw kicks back and you can also block kicks for whatever reason you get into a fight okay now with the lead leg being the left and the back leg being the right for my right handed stance for the left for people who are left handed you're going to switch your stance your lead leg is going to be your right your back leg is going to be your left okay few people want if they're right handed they switch to their left hand just because they want to get used to being ambidextrous and you can try that too okay now i'll go back to my basic i'll stand with my lead foot on my left back foot on my right when it comes to stance in all these sports you have to recognize and you have to pay attention to your weight distribution you can't stand up tall just because you're really tall it doesn't work standing tall you can't turn your hips as much into punching or into kicking okay so a little bend in your knee is most ideal and when you're trying to move i'd like you to think of being light on your feet as opposed to being flat okay now the thing with stance is one thing is that 99% of the time you don't break your stance the minute you break it it's because you want to do something else which is fine but when you're trying to throw punches or when you're trying to throw kicks we're not going to stand here throw punches or throw kick and come back here we're going to stay here because it allows us to move our hips efficiently it allows us to turn on our punches and also sit on the kicks when we're throwing them okay it might be a little fast it might be a little hard to understand but these are small small details which in the long run if you choose to do a sport or martial art you want to focus on okay for today just make sure your width is about hip width stance lead foot which is my left foot is always facing where i stand if i'm facing the wall my lead foot faces there if i'm facing you guys my lead foot always faces forward okay my back foot is a little open it's not closed it's open so i can throw my punches and i can drop my weight on my lead leg take my weight back on my back leg guys 100% of all of these things is just hip movement and weight distribution more than wanting to punch and kick okay all right let's get started now when you're standing here or when you're standing in your stance the way you move forward and the way you move back 
totally depends on the stance you're taking. Okay. Now with this stance, the way I'm going to move forward, I'm going to push forward with my back leg and step with my lead leg. If I want to cover distance, this is the way I go forward. Like this. Like this. I never go. I never go that, that way. And if I'm going back, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to take a step with my back leg first if I'm going to go back this way. And if I need to come forward, I'm going to take a step with my lead leg first and go forward. Okay? Is that all okay? A thumbs up for that? All right. Now, the first thing while with kickboxing or the first punch you're going to learn is called a jab, which is with your lead hand. Here, our lead hand is our left hand. And your power hand will be your right hand because I'm right-handed. Okay. The jab and the right and the right punch, these two punches are going to be straight punches. The use of straight punches is to keep someone away. And it's also to be able to hit with your power hand, you want to hit hard. With the lead hand, it's just try to measure how far someone is from you. Okay. Wow. Now, when you're throwing this jab. A lot of times people will stand here and they just throw the jab out here. When you're throwing a jab, your hand has to go straight, 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 straight. At the end of your reach, you're going to have to roll your shoulders a little bit. It looks like this. Back, straight, 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 straight. And roll. You're going to turn into your shoulders. You most of the time, or 99% of the time, a straight punch has to be straight. You have to extend your arm completely, okay? And that is the only way you can achieve distance between you and someone else. It could be a straight fight. It could be a fight inside a ring. It doesn't matter, okay? The only way you can establish distance is by throwing a long punches and knowing how far you are from someone else, right? Now, learning how to throw the first punch, which is a jab. You get into your stance. Lead foot forward, back foot at the back. Okay. Now we'll break this down into three movements. We'll break it down into a jab, which is your left hand. Then we'll break it down into a cross, which is your right hand at the back. Okay. And then we'll throw one kick, which is called a push kick. All these things will help you, in my opinion, will help you keep people away. You know, if you don't want people close to you, you can just push them away with the push kicks. And using the straight punches, hopefully punch them in the face and keep them away. Okay, that's the objective. But hopefully we all don't get into a fight anytime soon. Now, back on our feet. Lead leg forward, back leg right here. We're going to learn the first punch, which is the jab. Now, every time I throw a jab, which ridiculously means every single time, I have to take a step forward on the jab which means I have a step. That's what it means. Now, the step which I showed you before, we take a step with our lead, we cover the same distance with our back, right? The only reason why you want to cover a step with a jab is because when you throw a punch and someone's standing right in front of you, the first reaction when you throw a punch in front of their face, they're going to go, oh, hey, I don't want any of this, okay? So the minute we throw the left hand without moving forward, the person in front of you has already taken a step back, which means you've not hit them, right? You've missed their shot. That's technically why we also take a step on the jab or on the first punch, which is our left hand. If you're right, if you're left-handed, this is going to be your right hand, okay? Now, staying here, if I say, or if I call for a jab, the motion is going to be like this from here, I take a step forward, straight, 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 straight. At the end of my punch, I'm just going to slightly roll my shoulder. At the same time, I'm going to cover the step. It's very slow, but in real time, in real time, it's going to look like this. One step. One step. One step. One step. So it's going to be your left hand. All this is going to be your left hand. It's going to be a lead hand. If you're right-handed, your left hand is your lead hand. If you're left-handed, 
your right hand is your lead hand. Is that okay? There you go. And technically, I forgot to say this, guys. Shit, sorry. When you're standing, your hands have to be by your chin every single time. Like all your punches have to come from your chin. You have to keep your elbows stuck into your body and your hands come from your chin. For no reason should you want to drop your hands unless you're a very confident fighter or you're very confident of taking a, taking a hit. You want to keep your hands all the way here, okay? So we'll go back to the first punch again. It's called a jab. So on the jab, we move forward and you step while throwing the punch. So it's going to be jab, step. I'll turn around and show you. Jab, step. Jab, step. Jab, step. Can we all try it for 10 counts? The thing with these punches, this is what I tell every single, I do, I mostly do one-on-one -on -one classes, okay? And this is what I tell every single client of mine. You're here to learn the technique. I know you've come to learn how to throw punches and kicks. That's what most of y'all come for, which is absolutely fine. But to learn how to throw them and to moderate how to throw them is very important, okay? So when you're learning to throw the jab, don't throw it with some intention as you want to knock someone out or you don't want to be very aggressive. You just want to learn the technique and be comfortable as to how your body can move, all right? Now, back at it again. I'm going to call for 10 counts. I hope this was a, this is a very quick, brief introduction, but if you have any doubts, you can just, at the end of class, ask me or take my number from Pragya and text me on that, okay? Now, going back, we're going to throw the jab. It's going to be 10 counts. I'm going to call for each time. I'm going to do it along with you so you can see how it's done, okay? Are we ready? Hands by our chin. Elbows stuck to our body. Feet, when you look down, you should try and form an L with your feet. There is no reason why this should be crossing at the back when you're moving anywhere. You're going to step back, it's going to form an L. You're going to step forward, it's still going to form an L. Okay? Now, 10 counts. Ready? Jab. You can step, slight step forward. One step, jab. Again, one step, jab. Again, one step, jab. You can turn around. You don't always need to face me. You don't always need to face anyone. You can face the wall. You can face the curtain. It doesn't matter. As long as you're straight, okay? The next one, again, one step, jab. Turn around. One step, jab. Turn around. One step, jab. Turn around. One step, jab. If you would like to cover a bigger step, then you have to push harder from the back, which would be big step. Not required for now, but you can still try it. Okay, again, we're gonna go five more counts. One step jab, one step jab, turn around, one step jab, turn around, one step jab, two more counts, turn around, one step jab, last one, one step jab. Very, very, very simple, very, very basic, guys. 99% uh, of the time, if you watch boxing, if you watch kickboxing, if you watch UFC, which is the biggest thing right now in MMA, you'll find a lot of guys who are left-handed, right-handed, they throw this jab out. It's a very, very important tool just to measure how fast someone is from you, okay? That's one of the biggest, biggest things. Second, we're going to learn how to hurt someone with this hand, okay? I mean, this is your strongest hand. Hopefully, if you're right-handed or left-handed, the back hand is a, is a power hand. So that carries a lot of weight and that carries hopefully a lot of strength with, uh, with what you have and with some mean intentions where you want to hit someone, okay? Um, the same thing for the jab, you always step forward. But for the back hand, which is called a cross, it's called a cross, okay? You don't step forward. I have my stance facing an L. I have my hands over here. I have my elbows tucked in and my chin to my hands. Now, when I want to throw my right hand, I have to twist and turn my entire body into it. 
Pansaning diagonally, I hope this is a better view. It looks like this. Straight. Everything remains the same. Straight, straight, straight. At the end of my punch, I twist and turn a little bit. I have to pivot my back foot. I have to be from, go from here to here and turn. I'm completely on the ball of my foot. My heels are off the mat. And I turn my torso and my hips together. Here. It's like throwing a ball. When you have to throw a ball, you don't throw a ball like this, right? If you have to throw a ball further, you're going to go. You're going to go throw it like that. You're going to use your hip. You're going to turn your hip. You're going to turn your torso, right? Very similar to that is this punch. Stand straight. You're going to go straight. And you're going to throw straight cross, straight down the pipe, okay? But you have to, have to, have to turn the back foot. A lot of people will have a hard time learning to throw, throw this first punch uh, the first time just because of how you stand, okay? If you stand too tall like this, every time you try and throw it, you'll go up. You'll go up. You don't want to go up on a punch. On punches, you want to sit down on the punches. That's one of the boxing 101, to sit on your punches a lot of times, okay? So it's going to be... Staying in an L, keep making sure our feet are hip width apart, hands by our chin. Now, when I say cross, you're going to go straight, 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 straight. Turn your hip, turn your shoulders, and turn your torso straight in front. At the end of this punch, you want to feel your weight down in the middle of this lead leg. Okay? That's, that would probably tell you it's a decent cross or a good cross as opposed to leaning forward with your entire body, okay? So we're gonna stay down, we're gonna turn straight into the punch. I'm gonna call for 10 to 15 counts, and then we'll mix these two up, okay? Now, I hope everyone's ready. Uh, if you make mistakes, it's absolutely fine. Don't feel like you cannot make mistakes. This is one day you have to make mistakes to learn better, right? Back again, lead foot, back foot, and and here, 15 times, cross, straight, turn, straight down the pipe. It can't go cross. It has to go straight down your nose, straight down the pipe. Back here again. Again, cross. Back here again. Again, cross. Back here again. You need to feel your weight being distributed from here to here and back to the back leg. Okay? Again, cross, straight. Back here again. Again, cross, back here again. Ten more times, cross, back here again. Cross, back here again. You can turn around. Cross, back here again. Cross, back here again. Now let's, the last seven reps, let's try and do it a little faster. The one thing which you don't want to do, or which I'm, I've been doing now, is to throw the cross and hold it. You want to come back right away, okay? So if you can speed up, or if you can add a little speed to your punch, that would be great. So it'll look like this. Back. 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 Okay? Seven more reps. Are we ready? Let's go. Cross. Cross, 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 cross. Nice, four more. You gotta breathe while doing this. It's very important, okay? Cross, cross, cross. Last two, cross. Last one. Cross. All right. I still have some more time with y'all. Now, we're going to learn a push kick. The thing with kickboxing or any form of martial art is to put things together. Doing one by one is fine to start with. But learning to put things together 
is the entire entire aspect okay we're going to learn one more thing it's called a push kick now when you throw a push kick it's very important to recognize why you're doing this it's not like any kick like in taekwondo or in karate you learn a lot of kicks related to the body and head but it's not often you can use them now this particular kick is called a back push kick which will definitely help you keep people away if you don't want them close to you ever again okay so you're going to stay in this stance now when you're throwing a push kick it literally is a push with your leg so hence a kick okay your knee comes up this is a back leg push kick don't you from the side hands by here my knee comes up i have to shell my body the first you have to shell in and shell out that's the analogy behind it okay my knee comes up drop it back just the analogy i showed you again when he comes up i drop it back now the third time i'm going to push kick me back here Did you get it i'll show you five more times if you want but you got to understand the knee has to come up you got to push you got to come back right here when you're pushing with this push kick you have to make sure your to toes are curled back all the way back and you want to hit with the ball of your feet okay it's going to add a little bit more um uh, cringe to the part where you're hitting technically you want to hit them in this torso region just below by the solar plexus diaphragm liver ideally those sides so then you can keep them away the biggest thing with push kicks or hitting the body it'll gas someone out they won't like they won't be able to catch their breath it's going to be hard for them to catch their breath that's the thing with these push kicks okay now back at it again it's going to be here knee up push back knee up push back curl it toes back every time knee up push back knee up push back when you're doing this it's like how you all do yoga with pragya you got to keep your core all these things and you got to engage your core then you got to breathe through these okay can we do 15 reps of this please are we ready stay in your stance it's going to be knee up and push when i call for a push kick ready let's go push again back again you can swing your hand if you're using the right leg you can swing the same hand to gain momentum like forward okay but the opposite hand has to stay up by your chin again let's go again for now while push kicking have one target think of one spot and have one target again Again. 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 Seven more to go. Again. 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 Last one. Now. Bits and pieces. Last round. we're going to throw a jab and then we're going to throw a push kick together so at least in the next however long you choose to learn martial arts from you'll have a two, two one one punch and one kick movement for whenever you need okay it's going to look like this and up remember we always step on the jab you can throw a jab from here but you always want to tell yourself to get into the habit of stepping okay so this is going to be the movement back 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 okay can you try it 
Hope I'm not too fast. Can we try it? All right, hands up. Step and push on the jab. Once you finish, the thing with this jab, it's gonna be the left hand, not the right. The thing with this, hey, you have to finish one to go to the next. No half jab, no half kick, okay? Finish the kick or finish the jab, then go to the kick. Are we ready? Let's get going. All right. Jab and push kick. One, push. Again. One, push. Again. One, push. Again. One, push. Move around. When I move around, you notice I never cross my feet like this, like this. Always have my feet in the equal distance stance. That's something you will get used to it if you choose to continue. Okay, again, let's go. One, push. Again, one, push. One, push. Again, one, push. Five more, last five. One, push. One, push. Drop. One, push. Last two. One, push. And the last one. One, push. I know this is very brief, but this technically is how a lot of um, stand-up fighting is. It's a lot of combinations. You have a lot more combinations when it comes to um, striking. It could be boxing, it could be taekwondo, it could be uh, kickboxing, or it could be Muay Thai. Um, it's purely based on hitting and getting hit, but that's not the entire game. A lot of people, when they do this, they don't do it just because they want to fight or just because they have um, just because they have dreams to fight or whatnot. A lot of people do it because it has a very, very uh, healthy mental effect on individuals, okay? Um, the one reason I choose to do kickboxing is because it helps me push through every single day. Um, I do help my dad uh, with his baking, but it's nothing like kickboxing, to be honest, I tell you that. So uh, that's why I stick to doing this. And um, what I do, I, I teach, one-on-ones, most of the time I teach one-on-one. -on -one. This is my space, which I have. Um, I'm located in the center of Bangalore, right next to Garuda Mall on Magrath Road. So um, if there's any uh, reason why you want to learn martial art and you're looking to learn from one specific individual without having group classes, you're most welcome to contact me. Um, I can set up schedules and we can learn to work together. Uh, we can do a class before you try it out. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been really passionate about this. I think it really helps individuals um, for whatever reason. I have people who come because they're stressed at work. I have, I, have, I have moms who come because they want to learn something new, okay? So it's always been something different. Um, and this is a really new thing for me, uh, teaching online because I teach only offline. Um, teaching online, a martial art teaching online. Today, I, I, I hope it wasn't so bad. I hope you got some gist of what it is. It's, uh, it's a, it is a little challenging because it's hard to notice what is going on and how you can change and how you can help people with it. But um, hey, you know what? You got to try it out to know if it works or not, right? So do you... <laughs> Is there like a particular age uh, that, you know? No, not at all. So to be honest, here, in, I've been teaching in Bangalore for the past two and a half years, okay? The last three and a half years I was teaching in Canada. So when I was teaching in Canada, I had, my, I, I, we, I had kids from three years old to 13 years old. So there was always, kids classes were really good fun. The way you teach kids and the way you teach adults are so different. So uh, no, I'm open to teaching kids. It's a, it'll be an amazing, amazing gig. Uh, I have two boys coming at the moment. They come only on weekends. So it's nice. Um, it's nice to teach one-on-one -on -one with kids and like a few ki kids together. So um, yeah, there is no age to be honest. 
you can learn when you can learn to punch a person whenever you'd like you know <laughs> okay and has this ever helped you in real fights like i have so i've been in eight eight fights um i've won seven and i've lost one um but um yeah it's always helped me uh, I, i i truly do um want to get back into fighting i don't think india is a, a really great spot for fighting at the moment it's very, it's growing so um i i did compete here once and i was not very uh, uh happy with the management and the way things were so uh, i am looking forward to competing again i would probably want to go back to thailand or canada sometime uh hopefully not before hopefully not after 35 40 cuz then getting punched in the face is a little bad a little serious then right uh but before that yes absolutely i i think uh i think uh, my body and my mind is conditioned for fighting a little bit okay. yeah does anyone have any questions yes okay i think everybody's pretty happy with what we've learned nidhi you have any i hope, I hope uh, it was an informative class more than like you know getting a sweat or any of that um uh, it's it's just a very very uh it's just the cream to whatever is there underneath um and there's a lot to learn in martial art it's just not kickboxing there are so many other forms of martial arts which you can look into uh but oh. hey you know what if you ever choose to do kickboxing you know you know you know the guy <laughs> yeah well, i'll share your details again with them and yeah absolutely and yeah and absolutely. yeah cool so thank you for the session today it was a lot of fun very welcome actually You're very welcome really? yes absolutely Yeah. I hope you enjoy your day and uh, have a great weekend ahead and I hope to see you all soon. Enjoy yoga with Pragya until then. Eh? <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank girls. you. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.